Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today we've got one from a Zen Pop box. Go to zenpop.jp. Use the coupon code the Ramen Raider for a discount. This is a Nissen Donbe Oishi. Oh, it's in the title. It's long. It's long. It's a very long title. A lot of heavy lifting. Yeah. But it's Nudon. And, uh, oh, sorry, Camaro. But we add everything in and we deal with it for five minutes. We find something to do. We, uh, cheese the beef, as it were. Ah. You guys know the term, cheesing the beef? Beefing the cheesy meat steak? I don't know, a buddy of mine says that all the time comes up with very strange terminology, which is fun. And that same buddy of mine, Stumpy from North Little Rock, Arkansas, is rather irritated today, and I'll tell you why. He uh, lives in, as I aforementioned, North Little Rock, Arkansas, and in his apartment, he has a leak. A leak in his apartment. What's weird about it, first off, He's not on the top floor. He's down one. He's on the floor floor. And uh, here, we'll, we'll let you watch this. It's been the, kind of the, the deal lately. You get to watch the noodle do their thing. But uh, yeah, he's uh, somewhere in that building. There's probably like a water heater that died. But what's crazy is that started, what, two days ago? They haven't even come out and done it yet. They haven't fixed it. And now the power's out. I guess everybody in that building's power's out. <laughs> it's not coming from his upstairs neighbor's apartment. Like, oh, dude. Yeah. I'd be irritated too. It's like it's not hard to get somebody out to fix stuff. The least they could do, just go and fix it. Come on, man. But yeah, so he's in a crummy spot. My, uh, oh wow, I got time. So, Gosh, I want to say maybe like five or six months ago, there was a flood in the basement. Actually, it hasn't even been that long. But there was a flood in the basement up at the ancestral home of the Ramen Raider, which is in the uh, care of my sister. And so what happened was like the toilet overflowed or something. Turned out that there's a pipe that goes through the backyard to the city connection well that got blocked and so water when you flush the toilet it tries to go out it's blocked so where does it go right back in so yada 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 homeowners insurance yada 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 can't cover the excavation yada 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 out 15 grand yada 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 homeowners will cover the basement and the basement had a lot of water damage and mold and then they were like oh well we can't do anything because there's there's lead in the paint it's like everywhere any 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 building that's like i don't know not freaking absolutely brand new is gonna have lead in the paint anyways so just don't lick the walls so what you do what they did though is say, oh, well, actually our lawyers said because there is lead in the paint, we have to get rid of it. So that's covered. And what they're doing right now, they took all the wood off of all the walls in the basement. They're, they're pulling it all off and then some other, and, and, and the tile too, on the floor. And then they're gonna replace all of it. Well, the latest is that our weather's changing slightly and there was really nowhere to put her recliner that she had down there. So what did they do? 
the, the workers took it outside and put a plastic tarp over it. It rained. And the tarp had holes in it. So now she's trying to see if the adjuster is going to, like, compensate her for that. Which they should. Couch isn't cheap. It's already out 15 grand for uh, that construction. And that was her retirement. So it's 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 a it's a it's a rough deal. But yeah, running water. Ne uh, hug your sink today. That's all I can. Or your toilet. Well, don't hug your toilet unless you absolutely have to. Drink responsibly. Yeah. Too much. Don't be hugging your toilet. Like just to hug it. Only do it if you're like kind of sick. Yeah. What do you think of that? Yeah. But yeah, so plumbing troubles for a buddy and my sister going on today. But there's other news that I'll get to that's really, really exciting. Not today, not tomorrow, but the next day I will do a lot of blabbing about that news and I'm stoked. So yeah. What do you think of that? Three, two, one, and... Alright. Let's try our Oishi Odon Long Nini... Not Niniku, not Nuku, it's, it's something but we're going to give this a face try. I'm gonna put some of it into the primary facial orifice and uh, give it a chew. I guess it's supposed to be mostly Bonito. I did one that looked exactly like this and it turned out that it was actually the Soba and this is the Udon, so that's cool. It's okay. I mean, it's not like, oh my God, where can I get more of that? That's what I like is when I find stuff that makes me say that. And this one definitely isn't one that makes me say that by a long shot. It makes me think, God, should I even use this bowl for this one? I really like this bowl. I'm going to use this bowl for this one. I don't know, it's udon. I should use a more udon bowl. I think I will. I'll save this one to use for tomorrow. One moment. Thank you for your patience. If it is occurring. If it's not, then I apologize for my taking time out of your valuable day. That's a more udon bowl. I wish there was a place I could go and just get a ton of like cheap bowls that were really perfect for what I do here. This is from that place, but that place is no longer doing those bowls. This came way back in the day from uh, Daiso, and Daiso's stuff has changed quite a bit. Much for the worse. Oh, it's been a little while. When was the last time I went to Daiso? I'm trying to think. The last one I went to was up in Canada. I've been to one in San Francisco. We've got a couple around here. That is the thing I want to try. Is this beef? Is this sea vegetable? What do we have here? Mmm. I don't know what that was, but I liked it a lot. Yeah, that was quite good. Meaty bit. 
need to be. Yeah, it sounds like my buddy Todd is about to start swinging the fences. It's pretty ticked off about that leaf. I mean, like, dude, you live in an apartment and there's like water coming down from the ceiling and it's been two days. That's kind of an emergency. Isn't that, isn't that kind of a mission critical thing to be able to, you know, live without water coming from the ceiling? Isn't that, isn't not having water coming from your ceiling kind of a standard functionality of a residence? That's not kind. Not kind at all. So whoever his apartment people are, you guys suck. If there was a leak here, see he called the emergency line. You know what happened? Nothing. They didn't even answer the phone. They didn't answer the phone. They didn't call him back that evening. And uh, that would never happen where I live. Ever. They'd be over the same night, at least to look at it. If they had to go get stuff for it and everything was closed, they'd be like, try to do everything they could to make sure that, you know, we weren't going to lose our, our marbles over it. These guys, they don't care. It's crummy. How could they expect people to live that way? Where is that? I need... That and that would really tie the, the room together. I mean, I'm not talking about 11,780 votes. You know the guy who was talking about that. Dr. Silly is about to go spend some time. Hopefully. That is a piece of flower foo and I'm it will hydrate quickly. It's already starting slightly. It's basically like a little bready piece, but you'll see them sometimes in uh, Japanese ramen or udon, should they occur. Uh, Shichimi? Yeah. Funny you ask. Wrong you didn't ask. A little right. There. Shichimi Togarashi. Magical. Wonderful. Heaven awaits you.
The next one we're gonna have is this is gonna be interesting. This is a white ramen variety called Vegan Spicy Saiso 3.0 in collaboration with Onaguri. Or yeah. Onaguri, she's a Canadian virtual cooking show. So like that's the chick you see and her mouth moves and stuff. It's like not AI, but AR, I guess. I don't I don't know. I watched like two minutes of it, found it horribly annoying. But I'm an old fart, so you might love that stuff. Anyways, this sounds really interesting, and that'll be on the next episode of It's Noodle Recipe Time. Thank you for watching. This is Hans the Ramen Reader wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Like, subscribe, get a membership, uh, get t-shirts with pictures of me on it, and just be really happy. And I get I, I don't know. Alright, have a good one. Bye-bye.